assalamu alaikum participants now i think that uh, it was the most uh, wanted one everyone was asking about the tricky words and uh, the difference between tricky words and uh, high frequency word and the sight word so in this video uh, i have discussed all of these points uh, i will start with the difference between different approaches and then we'll discuss what are the tricky words and how you can teach them in terms and with reference to the Jolly Fellows program. Then there is the comparison of tricky words with high frequency words and sight words. And then what is the result of blending both? So we have two major approaches of teaching reading. The first one is synthetic one and the other one is analytic one. So in the description over here you can see that when we are teaching through synthetic phonics program we synthesize the sounds individual sounds into words and make words through blending like s ad k at and in analytic phonics program we read whole word and the word is not broken into the parts or the parts are not joined to make a whole word. And most of the time it's with the picture. So the picture and the whole word is given to them for a, uh, for a whole word reading program. So we need to understand what is whole to parts or parts to whole. Okay. So we see that the blending is different than whole word approach. In the whole word approach, the word is given for reading and there is no blending. But in blending, the sounds are blended together to make a complete word. In the beginning, simple words and simple sounds are given just like this one. F -e -sh, fish, r -in, rain instead of rain so the tricky words comes at the bottom of this list the fifth skill of jolly Furnace program but we see that uh, these are separated but from one till four they are all taught at the same time and can be used in one single lesson but tricky words come a little later when they are covering the sound after covering almost all sound in pure book one. So for the tricky words, they can help you in reading books. These 72 tricky words cover a wide range of irregular words. And children also can master spelling patterns. So the tricky words make reading easier. And you can find them in all of the readers. So there are several techniques of teaching. The first one, look, copy, cover, write and check. This technique is used in Jolly Phonics pupil books. You look at the word, copy the word, cover the word, write and then check. Second one is word wall. You teach through the complete wall of tricky word. You make one set of wall flowers once then the second one, then the third one, then the fourth one. Say it as it sounds. You let the student try blending it and say it and then try again with trial and error method. For example, if we have a word like was, the children can try saying was, no, it's not sounding right. Was, no, was, oh yes, it's sounding right. Okay, word families is another way and does it look right? Or the color, the tricky bit. The children can color the tricky bit. Okay, the first one over here, let's have a look at this page and see that it's all designed in the books and we can use them and we can also get this one's color in the flowers. Basically, the tricky words are the irregular words and you are simply unable to blend them. You cannot blend them through the blending technique like t he t h e can't do that h e no you can't do that it's he 
This is the word wall. Or jolly fun is tricky words. First set blue, yellow, green, pink, red, brown. And then we have got say it as it sounds method. As I have explained, try saying it with different patterns. And then we have got this method using the initial letter and it's fun as well. You can use word families. Like if you have taught the me, then it's easy to have taught she, we, be. If you have told two, then do is easy. Does it look like? Okay. So you see that um, if you want your child to blend he, he can also write like this one he or this one he. Was can be was. Two can be two. So gradually you told them to check your work, compare with the reader. So it's another method. Sometimes you can ask them to color the tricky bit. For example, look at this word over here. Two. T is normal. And this U is not giving the U sound. But, uh, but it's an, a letter O giving an U sound. So we have done the color red. These are the tricky word flowers. Different levels of tricky words of Jolly Fun program. So this is the advanced level that goes well with the readers, green level and the blue level. And you can find the tricky word in the readers as well. Let's have a look at a sample video from say Mustafa Jamal. Mustafa, what yes. is next tricky word? What? She. she, yes. First of all, write on dots. She. Yes. Write on dots. Yes. Then, can you write here again? Yes. And then again, and try to uh, write. Okay, so what are the tricky words and what are the sight words? You see that if you go to the Google or any website and check the high frequency words and sight words, you're going to find many lists of the words over here. So as the name indicates, high frequency. Jinki frequency both high hoti hai, yani wo bar bar bol aate hai, high frequency word. Now look at this list over here. You, there, there we have got some words that are blendable as well. You can blend this word up, us, and there's the word wa and t. So these can be uh, blended. And sight words, which you teach through sight, like we have got these words over here, ba in. So in Jolly Phonics methodology, we do not give the sight word or the high frequency word. We have got irregular words which you cannot blend simply and these are included in the tricky word list. There are some common exception words, some common complex words as well. So in the high frequency words, uh, if we look and compare with the tricky word, we see that these are totally different concepts. And in Jolly Phonics uh, program, we are saying that we are using the tricky word only. So what if you are Jolly Fon you are using Jolly Phonics program, but you're also you having high frequency words in the classroom and sight words, totally wrong. Uh, it's not a good idea and it can make your program unsuccessful as well. So if you are using Jolly Phonics program, you should not use high frequency words or the sight word because it confuses teachers and students and uh, even the classroom uh, students as well. Can you blend tricky words? Okay, let's have a look at this blending. A simple blending of a word, k at. 
hello this is your cvc words blending practice and you have consonants in red and vowels in blue and here we have a lovely car and this car has to run on the road and has to stop at the red light start from green going on from yellow and stop at red and we will read these sounds with the car say with me a t cat cat okay so you see that uh, next is uh, let's stop here for the blending and you see that in the blending you read and you blend with the sounds but for the case of the tricky words you cannot do that so we have discussed approaches there are two main approaches of teaching reading होल वर्ड अप्रोच जिसमें एक पूरे लफ्स को पढ़ाया जाता है कैट पढ़ाया जाता है और दूसरी अप्रोच सिंथेटिक फोनिक्स अप्रोच जिसमें वर्ड्स को पार्ट्स में ब्रेक किया जाता है और फिर पढ़ाया जाता है देन ट्रिकी वर्ड्स वट आर द ट्रिकी वर्ड ट्रिकी वर्ड्स क्या होते हैं वो इरेगुलर क्यों होते हैं और क्यों और किस तरह उनको पढ़ाया जाता है ट्रिकी वर्ड्स के अलावा हमारे पास और जो आइटम्स हैं लाइक वी हैव गॉट दिस हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी वर्ड्स एंड साइट वर्ड्स वी हैव ऑल्सो डिस्कस दिस Then come blended teaching, जिसमें आप जॉली फॉइंस प्रोग्राम के साथ हाई फ्रिक्वेंसी वर्ड या साइट वर्ड यूज करते हैं तो दिस इज नॉट रिकमेंडेड फ्रॉम आर साइड ओके सो इफ यू हैव एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क एनी टाइम योर क्वेश्चन आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर आस थैंक यू